just feel like when I have my hair like this, I can do that. Yeah. He would be a perfect David Ayer, you know, supporting yeah. character. Yeah. You know? In the Latin gang hood, yeah. starring a white guy. Oh. David Ayer fashion. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> it should be me. I should be the gangster you're, right now. No, you're the main character. And then you're the uh, guy who's showing me yeah, around. But I'm a little bit more sympathetic, you know. You're the, you're yeah. the, you're the bad guy. I'm, I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> Suicide Squad's David Ayer reuniting with uh, Shia LaBeouf from Fury. Also, Lana Perea is in this. Hells yeah. Mm. I don't really know her work. Let's watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George Lopez. Taking a page out of Bright and Suicide Squad in there. Took my kids, man. I'm riding through some wheels for my life. You're bad. You ain't that bad, all right? Open your mouth. You splatter your brains on. I don't want that. I do. I want that. Sounded like he wanted wow. that. Dude. He definitely sounded like he wanted that. <laughs> David Ayer managed to successfully remake Training Day, Harsh Times, <laughs> Kings, all in one movie. Yeah. Good for the guy. <laughs> hey, maybe this will be the, it's, like, instead of Bright taking his aesthetic and applying it to, like, a fantasy movie, maybe this will take some of that aesthetic, like you pointed out, and apply it to his gangster movies. <laughs> Watching this, I was reminded of literally every street level, <laughs> you know, David Ayer film I've ever seen. <laughs> He's doing his Guy Ritchie thing where, like, he breaks out for a little while and he goes back to his gangster roots. Literally, yeah. <laughs> out of all of them, this, the one that it reminded me the most of is Harsh Times. Shia LaBeouf's character reminds me of a Christian Bale's character. He's really like the tough, intimidating, scary one. Him and Bobby Soto, it looks like a lot of the core dynamic of it is between their friendship yeah. that formulates. And then of course, Bobby Soto, he's got his family to look after. And then there's gonna be some cool action scenes that take place in between. I feel like I've seen all of David Ayer's movies that he's directed, if not most to, to say the least. I guess the, the thing that's a bit missing for me as a person who is a fan of his work, I'm one of the few people who actually really liked Bright. <laughs> you know, yeah, even, yeah. even that included. I like his movies, like Street Kings, like Harsh Times, End of Watch especially. I guess the thing that's missing for me is that I, I don't quite see what he's doing that's different. Like I well, think Shia LaBeouf's in this. <laughs> I mean, the Shia LaBeouf character, while Shia LaBeouf <laughs> looks great, yeah, like he looks awesome. And I think Shia LaBeouf, we were actually talking about this in a recent live stream. We were doing over and underrated actors and how there was a point where Shia LaBeouf was overrated. Now with the career trajectory he's had, now he's like an under, underrated, underrated actor. Again, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I think uh, this is like one of those roles where you do get a chance to really see like after his work that he had like Peanut Butter Falcon, Honey Boy, I think a lot of people are like, dude, Shia LaBeouf is still such a great actor. Yeah, and then get him in the hood. Have him front and center here. <laughs> that, but the missing thing for me here uh, as a fan of David Ayer's work, maybe this is 
doesn't matter to you guys, but to me, it, it kind of does. It doesn't look like he's doing anything much different yeah. with it than what I've seen him do in those other movies already. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected this trailer to look like, which was exhilarating in a sense just because, you know, David Ayer's career hasn't been on the highest note lately. But yeah, it, it kind of plays off of everything I've come to expect <laughs> from him so far. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's one thing I just share with you is I wish it would have signified some kind of growth for this genre because I don't begrudge him sticking with it. Same with Guy Ritchie. It's just you want to see them grow within their comfort zone mm -hmm. or bring some kind of newer or more mature flavor to it. You know, this guy's got a family at the very least, which, you know, isn't the most original way to mix that up either. So, I don't know. I mean, I hope that this is good. I guess the one thing I've noticed is that David Ayer loves, like, lead characters who look like him. Shia LaBeouf looks like David I'm Ayer. pretty sure... I don't... <laughs> I actually don't recall any interviews. The only only footage I've seen of David Ayer, like actual video footage of the guy, is yeah. what he says. Fuck Marvel! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't recall any like interviews I've seen with Every him. Every picture I've seen, he's got that goatee. But I'm under the Im look. <laughs> I'm under the impression that he fancies himself, at least when he's writing, that he is the white guy in all he's, of these movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Did he grow up in this kind of lifestyle? I, I feel like he did. His Probably movies are did, always yeah. like L.A. based street L.A. Game. crime, yeah. Yeah, and even if it's focusing on the cops like Sabotage or End of Watch, I bet I just keep imagining that he is like one of those guys. Mm -hmm. Usually writers do that where they think they they imagine themselves as, as this person. But yeah, that's what, I mean, what you're pointing out. I believe that's, that's true. Everything about this looks extremely familiar I guess like the one implement that you pointed out in terms of borrowing the action aesthetic that he learned while working on films like Suicide Squad and Bright could be uh, like some of the action scenes because I don't recall any specific action scenes that look like that slow-mo effect that you mm. see here in those earlier street level films and this but to be honest this is also kind of the arena that I've been wanting David Ayer to go back to after like the work with studio with bigger produced studio films like Suicide Squad and Bright these are the films that had me latch on to him mm. as a filmmaker I feel like mm, most likely even if it doesn't look entirely unique from what he's done prior, I'm sure it'll be serviceable. Well, yeah. I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it'll be lived in to a degree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I this this is the kind of genre that he actually excels at. That was really well. They're putting Shia LaBeouf front and center. What I did find interesting, and it's something to kind of pay attention to, in the credits, he's lastly credited as Anne Shia LaBeouf. So I'm sure yeah. maybe his character will be super important. When they said that, it actually threw me for a loop because he's all over this trailer. He is. And, and normally it's that and famous person name would mean that they're not in it as much as you think, but they but they play an important part. But here I'm like, he looks like the lead, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I wonder if maybe the guy with the family is the actual lead, and he is going to That's usually be, how it yeah, goes. He's, he's going to be the, the heart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shia LaBeouf's going to be the partner who's a prominent character who's probably the most fun to watch or something like that, but yeah, who mm. isn't the point of the story and who will probably die. Yeah. <laughs> you know, while the other guy maybe gets to, you know, rescue his family. <laughs> like that. I mean, George Lopez is in here. He's That's doing cool. Some serious work. It's always fun watching a comedian take more of a serious turn. I noticed in the way how he shot this movie, he's been shooting a little bit more in a wider frame. And it feels like for going for that more personal touch, everything feels a lot more locked in, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It doesn't feel extremely handheld necessarily. Now, you'd be better describing it than I would, you know, because you, you understand cinematography language better than I do. Well, yeah, like, instead of like big wide framing, it feels a little bit more standard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels a little deeper. There's a little yeah. bit more, uh, uh, yeah, it seems like they might be using longer lenses or something to really put you in the yeah. intensity mm -hmm. of what everyone's doing and whoever they're looking at and yet yeah, enhance some of those more stylized shots, I would imagine. And to also, like, to add depth of field to, to make it look like there are probably more people and more space. Yeah. Because I don't know how what the budget would be like now on this as opposed to before. I'll cap it off with this. At the end of the day, it's just a trailer. At the end of the watch. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if at the end they came in, yeah. like there's just like break into act three with a POV sequence and all of a sudden Jake Gyllenhaal's there. Perfect. <laughs> Just get an A reverse with all the different LA crime characters <laughs> coming together. Let's see how this turns out. What do you guys think of this trailer? Are you excited for it? What about it are you most looking forward to? Taking a quick breeze through the comments. Seems like more people are talking about Lana Perea than they are talking about Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. That's fascinating.
fascinating. Subscribe to The Real Rejects, click that notification bell to get notified whenever I've got a YouTube video up. I have high hopes for this movie. Let's see how it turns out. And I think it's coming out around the time when Suicide Squad came out. Hey, <laughs> He's got perfect. that August release date locked in. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it, David Ayer. <laughs> Last but not least, I'll send this with a Logan Ledoux. What do you know, Ledoux? I didn't do you for the month of June. I'm sorry, buddy. I got mixed up when making some notes. I totally forgot to give you a shout out for a lot. I really was under the impression. What we found ourselves in now is a Shia LaBeouf situation. Oh. You're coming around to collect your shout out. Oh, well, here it is. I'm sorry. Please don't bust a cap in my ass, okay? Oh, oh don't let's, speak like that. Let's not oh. get all gangsta We don't want on things popping or off, off or anything like that, all right? Thank you, John. See, we know the street, we grew up, we in, grew up in the streets. Los Angeles, yeah. as it's correctly yeah. pronounced. I'm a gringo. He's a gringo. I look Hispanic. Yeah. That qualifies mm -hmm. when really, I belong in the streets of Glendale. Oh no. Because I'm Philip. <laughs> so <laughs> Filipino so they streets all are. <laughs> the, the Pinoy they streets. They don't go anywhere else. <laughs> Somewhere in Panorama City. <laughs> all right. Yeah, man, if you want to mess around and get yourself clapped by somebody in the Filipino community, you know where to go. <laughs> Logan, uh, I wanted to apologize and just say that now you will forever be known in my eyes as the Shia LaBeouf of our <laughs> Patreon page. You are the tax collector. Love you, buddy.